Hey, how's it going? Thanks for being here. So today I'm taste testing ice cream and not just any ice cream i'm talking about the ice cream from the new ice cream shop mother freeze and if this is your first time here welcome my name is whitney and usually i talk about fragrances on my channel but sometimes i like to switch it up a bit with content like this and if you're a returning subscriber hi so if you're ready to hear my thoughts on six flavors from mother freeze then let's get into it so just to give some backstory mother freeze opened this year and they're located in the old fort town center here in nassau bahamas and they have a really cute setup and a space that they share with Bakehouse Bahamas, which is a patisserie. Is that the right way to say it? Patisserie. Um, yeah, so they sell house-made uh, baked goods, they sell donuts, and they also sell uh, beverages inspired by local flavors. So they're pretty cool too. So as soon as I saw Mother Freeze being advertised on Instagram, I was like, yes, yes, I'm gonna need to try them out. And I was gonna taste test different flavors from them anyway, but I figured, you know, content. <laughs> so that's why you're here today with me. <laughs> So what I love about the flavors that you can get from Mudafreeze is that they're not only house made, but they're also inspired by different local flavors and ingredients. So I think that's pretty cool. Whenever places take inspiration from the native flavors and make it something special, I really like that. So today I'm actually trying six different flavors on an ice cream flight. So this is a way for you to try more than one flavor all at one time but of course you can get you know a scoop of ice cream in a cup or a cone but this is how i do self-care i spend my money on gourmet ice cream and that's how i like it <laughs> so i thought today i would take a journey with these flavors by going from the most familiar to the least familiar so we're gonna actually start with vanilla and i feel like if a place does a really good vanilla flavored item then they're probably really good if they can make their vanilla stand out and these poor things i was gonna film at mother freeze but they had like top 100 playing and i'm like hmm i don't want to do that don't want to do that so i was like let me just take these home so they're they're melted a little bit but we're gonna make this work i'm sure it'll still taste good but just giving you a heads up but let me insert the picture here of how it looked when i first got the thing scooped so y'all could see how cute it was because it's not as cute now, but I still feel like they're gonna taste good. But anyway, back to vanilla. So yeah, I'm excited to try it. So let's give this a scoop. So this is the, do I do, oh yeah, that's how they do it, right? All fancy, so that's vanilla. Let's see. That's good. Yeah, that's really nice. And you know, it doesn't just taste like, it's like really creamy. And yes, I know this is ice cream, so that's a given, but not really. Some ice cream tastes more like icy, but this, this is, that's really good. Hmm. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah. I would say that that's like, it doesn't taste cheap either. <laughs> It does not taste cheap, but that's really pleasant. It's just smooth, creamy, but has like depth to it. And even though it's vanilla, which I guess sometimes can be equated to like basic, I don't personally think so, um, but that ain't basic. I like that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I like that a lot. I'm like, I don't want to eat. I'm supposed to be eating lunch soon. I don't want to ruin my whole appetite, but that that's that's good enough for me to go in again i like that a lot okay let me put the spoon down let's move on to the next one that's very good the vanilla is very nice so if you just you're not into like crazy flavors or anything but you do want to try something delicious and house made i do recommend the vanilla so next we're going to do sky juice which is a gluten-free and dairy free option and it's actually a sorbet so the sky juice ice cream has coconut water and a hint of nutmeg and its name comes from the bahamian cocktail sky juice which is also called gully wash on other islands. And sky juice is essentially coconut water, gin, condensed milk, and it's spiced with cinnamon and nutmeg. And according to True Bahamian Food Tours, the sky juice drink goes all the way back to the early 20th century during the American Prohibition era, where rum was just super cheap. 
<laughs> so allegedly the name Sky Juice was coined by the Goldie's Conk House bartenders, but they've left the meaning of the name open for interpretation. So you decide what Sky Juice means. <laughs> so yeah, I've had Sky Juice before. I like it a lot. I've never had it as a sorbet flavor, but I'm excited to try it. So let's go. I like that they put the little uh, uh, umbrella in here. Okay, now this is the one that melted the most. Of course, it's not, it's a dairy-free option, so that's not entirely surprising, but we still gonna try it because I know it's gonna be good. So it's a bit soft, but that's a given. Oh gosh, can I do this without? Okay, so that's that. Oh, that's good. Ooh, definitely taste a nutmeg. Mmm. Yeah. That is delicious. I feel like it reminds me of like the holidays. I think nutmeg is a flavor, a spice that I typically associate with like fall and winter uh, because I find it in a lot of recipes around that time of year, but that's delicious. I, again, it's creamy for sorbet. It's quite creamy. It's, it doesn't, I know like sometimes when you see like gluten-free, dairy-free, yuck. I mean, not me, but some people. <laughs> But I feel like you wouldn't be missing, like you still get a full flavor experience, even though it's free of allergens. <laughs> but that's delicious. I like it a lot. And if you like coconut, you'll probably like it because it's very bold coconut flavor. I like that a lot. And I love the fact that it's coconut water, yet it has like a lot of creaminess to it. I wonder if they do have a sort of, well, they wouldn't have used condensed milk if it's dairy free. Hmm unless it's coconut milk that they used as to give it the creamy aspect. But I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. So next I'm gonna try soursop caramel. Now soursop is a, a local fruit that I really enjoy when it's incorporated in desserts. I don't think I've ever really tried it uh, outside of it being in a dessert. Probably, maybe as a child, but as I've gotten older and like have tried different restaurants and stuff, and actually remembered what I ate. <laughs> I feel like I really appreciate when soursop is done in a unique way, especially when it comes to desserts. So I'm not sure if this is a soursop based ice cream with caramel in it, I'm, I, or if like the caramel has been infused with soursop, I'm not sure. And if you have no idea what soursop tastes like, the best way I can describe it is that it's a sweet tropical flavor with a hint of tartness. I'm trying to see if I can compare it to anything. No, <laughs> but it is nice. I feel like it's not like too, uh, too far away from the norm where it would be, it wouldn't taste nice to someone who's never tried it before, but it does still have a unique taste to it. I don't think I've helped you understand what soursop tastes like, but I did my best. So let's try it now. <laughs> and I think now the, there's one flavor that looks kind of like it. And I don't think this is, no, I think I'm pretty sure this is the correct flavor. I was like, I hope I don't mess it up. Sorry about the light change. My phone was overheating. So I had to take a break, but back to this flavor of soursop caramel. So I'm excited. Mmm. You know what? Well, it tastes delicious, first of all, but I not only do I think it's a soursop based ice cream, but I think the caramel is actually infused with soursop because tasting the swirls of caramel in it, I could still pick up the soursop flavor quite distinctly. So that is delicioso. I really like how that tastes. It's very much like giving me tropical fruit but with a surprise. <laughs> so moving on, we have roasted strawberry and hibiscus jam. Now I've never had roasted strawberries before. I've had like other roasted fruit before, like pear, for example, but never roasted strawberry. And I don't think strawberries are native to the Bahamas, but I feel like they could be grown here. And as far as hibiscus flowers go, I um, love the idea of a floral jam and hibiscus flowers can be seen all across the Bahamas. So 
Those are local. But yeah, I'm excited to see how they've done a fruity floral. <laughs> how they've done a, 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 well, that's really what it is, huh? A fruity floral ice cream. Let's give it a taste, shall we? So I do like strawberry ice cream. Um, and this is, remember now, y'all, this melted a bit. But, eh. Mmm. I like that. Definitely tastes like a very, ooh. Okay, it tastes like real strawberries because it tasted familiar. Like, yes, I've tasted strawberry ice cream before, but at the end, it tastes like what actual fresh strawberries taste like that aren't like particularly sugary sweet or anything, which I really do like. Now, sure there's a floral touch to it but i don't think it's necessarily like screaming at me which could either be because it's done in a way that it just works so well where i don't notice anything like different but i do like how that tastes it is quite nice i do like that so next up is juicy susie so this flavor is a limited edition flavor that they brought out to celebrate the bahamas's 49th Independence, which was celebrated on July 10th this year. And the flavor of the ice cream is a mango base, and there are little bits of black croissant, which have been fried and then rolled in brown sugar. And on top of that are sprinkled with aqua house-made sprinkles, which I think is pretty cool that they made them in-house. And if you didn't know already, the colors of the ice cream are also inspired by the colors of the Bahamian flag. And the name of the ice cream, Juicy Susie, is named after the song of the same name by Bahamian artist KB. So I'm excited to try this out. I was excited to see it when I saw it online for the first time. Very nice photography on their Instagram page. I do encourage you to follow them. And just in case you just like food photography and such. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to give this a taste. I'm trying to get all the little pieces in. Okay, melted a bit, but that's okay. Is that? Mm. That's good. I like that. Hmm, that's good. I feel like the mango is done in a nice way. I'm even going for another bit. That is so interesting. I've never had ice cream with pieces of croissant in it, so that's pretty cool. And they don't taste burnt. <laughs> I think it's just the color used to make it black, but that's delicious. That's a nice, smooth, creamy mango, if I do say so myself. Now, I've had mango sorbet, but mango ice cream is something that I do like. So I do enjoy creamy mango flavors so that's probably why i'm partial to it but that is delicious it's refreshing it is unique especially with the different textures in there then you have the, the you have the sprinkles then you have the croissant but they work very well if you're not like a fan of um too much textures at once you may not like it but if you are a fan and you're in nassau and they still have some of this left <laughs> you should probably try it and it's also very unique and I like it and I'm eyeing it because I want more but I got one more to go <laughs> so the last one which is probably the one that I probably would never have imagined ever tasting ever in life is the oatmeal cookie miso eggplant so this is one that is a vegan option and what really appealed to me about this is the fact that it is sounds at least so savory in nature and I've never heard of miso or eggplant being used in an ice cream flavor so i knew i had to try this out so if you're not familiar with what miso is it's a japanese condiment so it's a paste that is used in cooking and it's made out of fermented soybeans now i'm pretty sure you could grow eggplants here um not entirely sure but i'm pretty sure um and i feel like oatmeal cookies are you know pretty common so i'm excited to see how this one is okay oh gosh Okay, ready. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. Does not taste as weird as it sounds. <laughs> I feel like there may be coconut in here. I'm not entirely sure. Which, 
I feel like, even though I like oatmeal cookies with coconut, uh, maybe there should be some sort of warning to tell people in case they don't realize maybe they have a coconut allergy. But that is delicious. It doesn't taste super savory, but there is like depth to it, not only in the flavor, but also the texture because it has bits of that oatmeal cookie. But that is very good. I think there's a little bit... I feel like it doesn't, again, even though the flavors seem like they're a little bit out there, they don't, it doesn't taste like experimental. <laughs> it doesn't taste like strange. It's done in a way that actually is quite delicious. So yay, my first eggplant ice cream. And I'm still alive and I want another bite. Yay. So now that I've tried all six, I wonder what, how I'd rank them. Um. This is hard. I've, I don't think I've ever done ranking before. Jeez, let me try see. Okay. Uh, in last place. Um, who? Probably the roasted strawberry and hibiscus jam. Again, just because it's not number one doesn't mean it tastes bad. It is delicious, but I feel like I was expecting maybe more of the hibiscus flavor to come out, I suppose. Um, number five, I would say is vanilla. Again, delicious, um, but I like the other flavors more. <laughs> so number four, mm, I would say the oatmeal cookie miso eggplant. Again, tastes very nice, but I feel like maybe if I tasted more of the savory components, I would have maybe been more captivated perhaps, even though it is delicious. I feel like that's probably why it's number four for me. Now top three, hmm, this is kind of tough. Um, okay, number three is gonna go to Juicy Susie. So again, I'm a fan of creamy mango flavors and I do like how it came together but the top two are close. <laughs> so I think in the number two spot, I'll have to give it to, hmm. I might have to give it to Soursop Caramel. And that means Sky Juice, sor the Sorbet Sky Juice is number one. And I think sor Soursop Caramel is number two because yes, I like it a lot. But actually, to be honest, I prefer, <laughs> I prefer Sorbet over ice cream. Like I prefer uh, fruit ba based frozen desserts over like milk or cream based. So I'm kind of biased, I guess. <laughs> and yes, I did eat like five, uh, well not five, a bunch of different uh, dairy based ice cream products. But yeah, I guess just a little tidbit for you in case you didn't know. Of course you wouldn't, I just told you that I prefer, <laughs> I don't know what I'm rambling on about. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> I think I'm ugly, y'all. <laughs> but since we're still talking about ice cream, just giving you a heads up that in an, an upcoming video, hopefully before the end of the ju July, I'm going to be sharing a video which incorporates both perfume and ice cream. So I encourage you to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay tuned for that because I'm pretty excited about what's gonna happen in that video. Pretty excited, so please stay tuned for that. So that is everything for me today, guys. Let me know down below in the comment section what is the craziest ice cream flavor or sorbet flavor that you've ever tried in life. I am curious. And if you liked today's video, please give this video a like. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do encourage you to subscribe. And if you would like to support my channel even more, feel free to buy me a bubble tea. All that information is down in the description box. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you later. Bye. Let's turn this up. So if you're ready to hear my thoughts on six, Six. Excuse me. And they've got a really cute setup where, it, and they've got a, and they've got a really cute setup in a shared space, spaced. And I thought today I would go from, I would try the flavors from most familiar to least familiar to kind of like 
I don't know, see it as like a progression, a progression, no. Do I wanna say that? No, I don't. Oh. It's all melted, y'all. It's all melted. Look, look. It's all soupy soups. Better believe I'm putting this in the freezer.